Hi guys, it's me, Catherine. Um, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this channel, we'll talk about how to make money online. And today, as you can see from the title, we are going to talk about how to create your Amazon KDP account. Because we started talking about uh, low content books, selling low content books on Amazon KDP. And uh, I received a lot of questions about how to create your account, how to set up, how to, you know, write your your tax information and how to receive your money uh, payment when you sell your books. So today I'm going to talk about how to create your account and fill in all those details. So let's get right into it. I'm on my laptop, so I hope you can see, I'm, I'm sure you can see, um, everything on my screen. So this is how we are going to do this today. Uh, just showing my uh, my computer screen. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is if you don't have an Amazon account, you may have an Amazon account. Maybe if you've bought something on Amazon already or you just previously created uh, an account on Amazon. It will be easy for you because um, you just sign in. You just click on this sign in button and you sign in using the details that you use to create your Amazon account. But if you don't have an account uh, with Amazon, you'll click on sign up. So that's the process we're going to go through. This is where you'll be taken. Uh, sign in, uh, you'll have the, the option, you will write your email address here and your password. Sorry, mm, because you don't have an account with amazon you'll click on create your kdp account so let's click on that and then we move to the next so uh create your kdp account you'll fill in your name your email and then you'll create a password then rewrite it here then just hit on create your kdp account it's as simple as that they're going to send you an, an in, uh, a verification uh, email to your email account, to your email address. So you're going to write that one-time pin, the OTP. You're going to write it here and then hit create your Amazon account. It's actually quite straightforward. So this part will go very quickly. Then this is, these are the, uh, agree, these are the terms and conditions of KDP, Amazon. So guys, make sure you read all this. I know it can be quite lengthy, but it will help you. If you don't read it right now, make sure you find some time to read it. Go through it just to get an idea of what is expected of you, what you should and shouldn't do on KDP, on Amazon KDP. Because you don't want your account getting, you know, uh, blocked. Because once you're blocked, you can't create another account. Once you're locked out, you can't create another account. So just go through this so that you know what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing. So hit on, click on this agree button and you'll be taken to the next page. So the next page is actually now your, your workspace, uh, your KDP account. But before you start publishing your books, before you start selling, you have to update your account. So you'll hit on update. You'll click on update now. So this is uh, these are the details you have to fill in. Which country or region do you live in? You'll fill in your details. Um, for me, it's Kenya. And then you have to fill in your full names, your address, um, your city, province or region, postal code, um, and your phone number. So if you're in Kenya, your address, okay, they ask for address line one and line two. Line two is optional. So just fill in your postal address here on line one. Then the city, that is the city of the postal address. And then uh, the province or, yeah, the province. And then the postal code and then your phone number. So I'll just fill that in and then get back to you. So this, I've, I've filled in those details. And this is the part where I, I think most of you were having problems, how to get paid. So Amazon KDP can either pay you through check or um, wire transfer or I think bank transfer or something like that. So uh, getting your getting the, your money through your bank, through a bank account is going to be the 
easiest. The easiest because there's no uh, okay for check. If you sent a check, it's it may take longer to arrive first of all because it has to come through your postal uh, your post uh, postal address. And also, it has a there's a threshold. There's a minimum amount of money you have to have accumulated or earned on Amazon KDP before you get paid. So the best way is to get through your uh, get paid through your bank account. But you need an account either in the US or the UK. So this is where you need to have a Pioneer account. And guys, I've created I created a video just before this one showing you how to open an account on Pioneer pioneer.com so please go check that in the description box below or i'll also post the 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 video i'll link it here up here so that you can go go, go there and see how to open a pioneer account if you don't have one yet if you do or after you've created the account then you'll come and fill in here that you have a bank a bank account in the united states and then when you click on that, you'll see the information required. So you'll need account holder's name. That is your name. The type of account is checking. That actually is the type of account, checking account. Then the account number, routing number, and name of the bank. So all these details, you'll get them in your Payoneer account. So let me go there and I'll show you where to get those details. So on your Pioneer account, just uh, sign into your Pioneer account and where you will find your bank details, go to this receive tab and click on global payment service. So that will open the details to your account. So we need the US account. So I click on that view details and we are going to get all the information as you can see. We have all the information, your bank, the bank name, bank address, routing, um, routing number, account number, all that. So you'll copy paste this to your KDP account uh, details. So I'll do that and then get back to you. So after you've added the details, as you can see, it shows you you are set up to receive payment for sales across all Amazon marketplaces. You'll be paid in USD according to the payment details below. So as you can see, you have the details you have created. You have input your bank account details. That is your Pioneer account. Uh, and also, uh, just to make things clear, if uh, when once you receive money here to your Pioneer account, you can easily transfer it to your local bank account. I showed that also in the other video about how to create your Pioneer account. So go check that out and you'll be good to go. The next thing is filling in your tax information. So let's get to it. Complete your tax information. So the first question is, what is your tax uh, classification it's individual I suggest you leave that as it is um, unless you're a business uh, but just leave it as individual because uh, most likely you're a sole uh, proprietor then for US tax purposes are you a US person no because this, we are talking about signing uh, creating your account as a non-US person so like in Kenya you're obviously a non-US person are you acting as an intermediary agent or other person receiving payment on behalf of another person? No, this is your own business and you're receiving payment on your own behalf. Tax identity information. So your, um, your full name will appear here. And then here, I have a non-U-S-T-I-N. So, uh, this is what you're going to use because you're not a U.S. citizen. So your tax identification number is, for example, if you're in Kenya, that's your KRA pin. So just fill that in on this uh, box. And um, if you're in any other country that's and you're a U.S. citizen, just fill in your your uh, your tax identification number. So I'll fill that in and then we'll continue. The next thing, sign and submit. So yeah, you'll just sign in here. You'll write, you'll type your full name and then that's it. Your tax information has been received 
and successfully validated. And uh, that's it, guys. Now you can click on exit the interview and you're set. You have your, your tax information and you have your uh, banking information, your details. You see here, it shows that your tax interview was completed on October 19th, 2021. So save that. Now you can go back to your bookshelf and you're actually ready to start. You see there's, an, uh, there's no notification on updating your details. You're ready to start uploading books and selling them on Amazon KDP. As you can see, uh, once you create a book, it will show up here in your bookshelf. So you're ready to go, guys. Get to creating those books. Watch the video I showed, uh, I created, I uploaded <laughs> about how to create uh, Amazon KB KDP books, that is low content books. I'm going to be creating more of the, uh, such kind of videos and giving you more details, especially right now that we are in Q4, that is quarter four, the final quarter of the year. When many people do a lot of shopping, they buy a lot of stuff, I'm going to be giving you more details on what kind of books you should be preparing right now. And getting ready. Actually, we are ready in Q4, actually. <laughs> so we'll get into that. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope this has helped you. Uh, see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe and hit that like button and the notification bell. Bye-bye.